Leonardo da Vinci may be best known for painting the world's most enigmatic smile, but a new exhibition at Buckingham Palace explores the Italian Renaissance painter, sculptor, innovator, and scientist's breathtaking anatomical studies of the human body. Leonardo da Vinci Anatomist, which runs from May 4th to October 7th, features 87 anatomical drawings by Leonardo, the largest collection to ever go on show, including a detailed portrayal in red chalk of a child in the breech position and pencil drawings of the human skull. Curators at the gallery believe the body of work, which was never published in the artist's lifetime, would have made Leonardo one of the greatest Renaissance scientists to this day. Leonardo's desire to be true to nature saw the artist dissect 30 corpses and compile hundreds of sheets of drawings of the human body, but his research stayed among his private papers until 1900, when they were finally published and understood by the scientific world. Now, had Leonardo published, he would have been the most important figure ever to publish on human anatomy. And we would regard him now, I think, on a par with I don't know, Galileo or Newton or someone like that from the Renaissance. Uh, but Leonardo, I think, has the reputation now as a great painter who did a bit of science on the side, almost like a hobby. You know, People think of his flying machine and his submarine and so on. What this exhibition shows, I hope, is that his work as an anatomist was deeply serious, incredibly detailed, and uh, hugely important. Clayton said the exhibition shows that Leonardo's work as an anatomist was deeply serious, incredibly detailed, and hugely important. The artist's drawing of the cardiovascular system was compiled in several stages, sketched first in red and then black chalk, his fingerprints still visible on the paper. Leonardo's drawings have been in the possession of the English monarch's royal collection since 1690. Yes, you know, Leonardo, he himself didn't see art and science as being two different things. All his artistic work was scientifically motivated. He wanted to be true to life and, and accurate in a physical sense. And all of his scientific work has got this great beauty about it. You know, although, although these are Leonardo's scientific drawings, they do have a grace, an elegance, a beauty about them, which, you know, maybe only Leonardo was capable of. The exhibition is on display to celebrate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee and also to honor the physical body for the Olympics, which are set to take place in London this summer. Marisa Christian, Ivy Times TV.